will save java program uh, with dot java extension right yes or no so here what is program so again program is nothing but uh, set of instructions given to mission in order to perform in order to perform operation that may be addition or subtraction like this it is called as program so here program into two types ha huh? high level program and low level program okay so here what is high level program general who will design so general high level program will design in plain english so here developer will design high level programming with plain english given by java guys okay developer can understand high level language but mission can't understand high level language so here generally even though we will design the program that program is understandable by the mission so here mission understand only low level program low level program so here developer can't understand low level programming so only mission can understand low level programming so here mission understand low level programming so here how to convert high level programming into low level so here converting converting high level program into low level program is called as compilation so here here what is compilation so i will i will i will give example for what is the example for high level language java whatever java programming or dotnet or php php or examples for high level programming one minute high level program simple example so dot java dot java files comes under comes under high level program any questions up to this now low level converting high level programming into low level programming in order to understand by the language by the developer he is called as compilation generally what are the examples dot class files dot class files comes under low level program okay any questions so here converting high level into low level is called as compilation so how to perform compilation so now please observe here compilation so here converting high level high level program into low level program here high level nothing but dot java files whatever dot java end with dot java comes under high level convert into low level nothing but dot class format so what is dot class i will explain so e is called as compilation generally compilation generally we will perform compilation by using one command what is the command java c command what the stands for java c java c stands for ah huh, java compiler so here we will get java c command of so after 
installation of java in your mission any questions up to this Yeah, if you have any doubts, please ask me. Any questions up to this? Suras, Monica, Dinesh, any questions? Any questions? No, right? No, no. Yeah, now I will show you once we'll convert high level into low level. Low level understand by the mission. Next step is the process of giving. low level program as input to mission is called as execution now we will perform execution by using one command what is the command name java command so how to get the command this command after installation of java we will get this command yeah this is called execution so here i will show you generally please observe now programming saving generally how to save the program ha huh. any name right you can give any name a huh. mission should end with java right suppose i will give demo dot java so this is plain english this is example for high level program any questions up to this but this high level program cannot understand by the mission so what we can do we will convert this high level language into low level language that is called uh, compilation how to perform we will perform compilation by using java c java c stands for java compiler java c space uh, dot java program program name what is the dot java programming name uh, what is the dot java programming name this one right demo dot demo dot java yeah so now it will generate a uh, demo dot class this is example for low level programming clear this dot class file comes under low level programming uh, so here mission can understand this dot class file clear now now once high level is converted into low level then we will give that low level programming as input to to your mission that is called execution generally we will perform execution by using java command java space your uh, dot class file name what is the dot class file name here here up to this only up to this so don't enter dot class file now what will happen whenever we enter like this so here mission read line by line line by line and q some response to end user ah huh. any questions up to this guys one time connected it will work it will okay what is this so i will give uh, one more example how to compile and how to execute can you can you can you explain okay suppose i will give one more example okay my programming name is please observe program name is ha uh, customer dot java ha huh. so this is high level language or low level high level or low level hmm high level or low level high level so, so any program end with dot java this is called high level programming clear high level programming so mission can understand this high level programming no no then we will convert high level programming into low level programming not to understand by the mission right we will perform that uh, compilation by using one command what is the command name java c right java c customer dot java yeah super it will generate uh, customer dot class so this is low level once low level is available then without giving input to the mission is is it new, useful no right yes or no is it useful without execution no right now we will give we will give our low level program as input to your mission mission will read line by line and execute and give some response to end user any questions up to this we'll see we'll, we'll can we'll see what is high level and what is low level 
ಎವರಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಲೋ ಯಾ ನಾವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ರೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಕ್ ವೈಡ್ ಮೇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಎನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಜಾವಾ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈನ್ this line is responsible to give some input to, to some output to end user no need to worry about just can anyone read it can anyone read it kadar are you able to yeah yes class sir. customer public yeah, class customer open, open press public at least you are able to read it right yes or no yeah program starts from pub- no no no, no. what i am telling is at least are you able to uh, read it right class customer so plain english yes or no open press public static white mail like this yes or no right hello yes sir yeah so now please observe we will save if you want i will create one more folder so now customer dot java machine should end with java so every program in java end with dot java so and then click on okay so here this this programming can't understand by the mission so here we will convert this high level programming into low level programming wherever programming there highlight this one type cmd command prompt now observe first step ah uh, first step is what convert high level programming into high level programming into low level programming please respond dinesh monica ah uh, so that is called compilation java, java c see? space customer dot java now it will generate dot class file now observe so i will open this one can anyone try to read it can anyone try to read it no sir yeah so mission only understand next one once low level language is available we will give that low level language as input to your mission how to give it we will give low level language as input to your mission by using one command that is called java so java space customer now mission read line by line and give some response to end user any questions up to this no right no. so at least what is programming what is high level language at what is low level language at least are you able to understand right hello yeah yeah yeah, it's okay. yeah now who so here please observe who is founder of java so now today we'll discuss some basic stuff founder of java can anyone guess ha uh-huh. james gosling james gosling yeah gosling ha uh-huh. what the year 1990 for this is not required initially Five. java is called as uh, initial terminology or initial name oak what is this oak later oak is renamed as oak. renamed as java clear now huh java yeah, yeah. is called as ora what is this ora ora what is ora now w in the word right ha ha right who is pavani right once run anywhere right this is called ora any questions now current marketing java 19 is going to release so here initial java version now please observe version now java is released into market in the form of versions so initial version is 1.0 what is that 1.0 and then 1.1 and then 1.2 or java 2 anything is fine java 2 like this 1.3 or java 3 clear now guys like this java 4 
Java five, Java five, and then like six, seven, eight, nine, like this. Okay, and then and so on. Currently, market version is ah Java nineteen. What is this? Nineteen. But interviewer asked, so Suresh, what is the change? Version to version. Why they will release version to version? Generally, version to version. Ah. Uh, new features ah uh, he added yes or no he added version 2 version right deprecated if you not required removed that's why that's why they will release version 2 version so general interviewer ask which version are you used in the project so so don't tell java 19 you tell either java 8 or java 11 one version okay which version are you using in your project java which 8 or java 11 yeah so kadar who is pawani yes sir so can i go next one our staff for today Pawani, Maunika, can I go next one? Our staff for today. Go to next. Sorry? Go to next to one. Next. Yeah. Now, what type of applications, what type of applications can we design, design through Java? Means you can use Java by using Java. What type of applications you can design? Huh. First one, we can design three types of applications. We can design three types of applications by using Java. First one is standalone application. Huh. Second one is web application. Third one is distributed application. How, what type of applications we can design by using Java? Standard what type of applications? Huh. On the distributed applications. Distributed applications. Now I will discuss one by one. Okay. Okay. I will give I will give one chance to you. So Monica, in your mission, in your mobile, with in your mobile, without phone pay or Google Pay, can you transfer the amount to other account? Huh? Phone pay or Google Pay must and should install in your mission, in your mobile, or without installing phone pay or Google Pay, can you transfer the amount? Huh? Anyone? Hello? Without phone, without phone pay or Google Pay, we can't. Yes, what one more. One. Yes, yes, other options. Is there. Suppose I want to listen the songs. Huh? VLC, VLC player is mandatory installed or without installing the VLC player, we can do it. Come again. So suppose you want to listen the songs. Okay. How to listen the songs? Number of uh, application players are there. Hmm? Number of players are there. So VLC, VLC player is mandatory to install in your mission, right? Without oh, yeah. installing oh, players, right. we can't listen. So meaning is, huh? Hmm. Software must install in your mission, right? In order to work with standalone applications. Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? Yes, yes. So here, yes, yes, yes. standalone applications will not work without, without installation in your mission right okay so here i will give this is recommended or not recommended in the real time why because suppose i design one one ircTC site so if you want to use ircTC in every mission you you should install ircTC otherwise ircTC not work right yes or no is it recommendable or not recommended yes. in that yes yes recommended or not recommended recommended no right why 
suppose you want to use stand alone you must should install that application in your mission without installing it will not work yes or no yes yes so that's why not recommended not okay. recommended in okay. real time why because I will, I will i will tell suppose i design one application so i will go village by village and then family by family so hey boss please install this app please install this app is it recommendable not recommended that's why okay clear now google yes. pay ha huh. phone pay and vlc media player media player or examples for stand alone applications any questions up to this no, no. right no. now next no. one web application what is this web application no. so no. generally web application is called as a uh, c2b what is this customer to business ha uh, c2b means customer to business. business so means ah uh, customer or end user end user nothing who will use our application directly end user directly interact with business here generally business nothing but project okay okay in order to perform operation So here, assume ICIC is the online, right? Yes or no? Yes. ICIC. So anyone will log in ICIC, right? Or some people only? Anyone, anyone right? Anyone. So directly, end user will interact with on web applications. That is the meaning. Okay. Hmm. Now, best example, Gmail, ha, huh. Facebook, ha, huh. online systems, or examples for web application examples for web application so here inside the web application in, in in case of stand alone application software must to be installed in your mission right mm. yes or no yeah so here application or project project deployed deployed in one central server and user will send request to server from anywhere and any location and server will process the request and give some response to end user so what is the meaning of this one please observe i will draw the diagram then you can understand observe this is gmail application what is this gmail so gmail available in your mission or it will available on central server generally ha huh? hello suppose can you guys can anyone log in gmail from anywhere or in in order to log in into gmail gmail application machine should install in your mission ha huh? no no need to install it no need right net is enough right yeah yes or no yeah 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 so please observe this is user 1 user 1 and user 1 will send www.gmail.com send the request send the request through your mission from anywhere yes or no and this server this server will process the request and give some response to end user suppose whenever you will type www.facebook.com it will goes to facebook server and give response as login page right yeah so here that's it
yeah now observe this is request like this anywhere you can send the request so user send the request to the server server process the request and give response to end user this is end called user. end user this is called c to b any questions up to this go ahead and ask one by one anyone nothing no, any question from my side no sorry no from my side clear right yeah clear yeah super good so this is web application now can i go next one uh, sorry uh, proceed next the one next one, one. we'll we'll design one more application ha ah, distributed application what is this distributed application distributed application so generally distributed application other name is enterprise application what is this enterprise application ha ah, this distributed or enterprise application is called as ha ah, is called as b2b what is this b2b b2b stands for business, business to, to business. business so means ha uh, one business nothing but one project ha uh, will interact with another project ha uh, for business need yes or no yeah. right yes or no any questions Yes. so suppose end user apply passport so here up to this this is called c to b right yes or no yes yeah passport will interact with aadhar yes or no aadhar application for getting the proof of information so this is yes. called this is one business this will interact with another business i will show you one more so here end user will interact with amazon amazon is one project right generally what, what is the purpose of this one what is the purpose of this one to buy the products right so yes, after sir. buying the products amazon will interact with the online control server online, online banking, banking system right control server right? yeah yes. so here observe up to this this is called c to b right yes sir end user directly yes. will interact with amazon from this project will interact with online this is called distributed applications now how to design mm. distributed applications we will design distributed applications applications by using ha huh, spring web services generally web services we will design web services by using spring boot that's it any questions any questions guys Yeah, no question. Clear, everyone. If you want, can I draw a diagram? Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. Please, yeah. yeah, please draw. Yeah. So, end user. So, this is one of the web application. web application assume this is passport application what is this passport application. application so here end user end user want to apply passport want to apply passport, passport. so by giving aadhar number don't submit all the proof details why because aadhar application is there right now this is the request now what will happen okay while submitting internally internally passport application will interact with ha huh, will interact with aadhar application aadhar in order to get the proofs about your particular person aadhar application so request
response. Similarly here, response back. Yeah, go ahead and ask any questions. This is request. This is response. This is response. response. Yeah. So here observe up to this. This is end user, right? This guy is end user. Yes, and directly interact with your web application. Yes, or no? That, that's why it is called as. This is called as C two super C two B. Okay. So C two B nothing but consumer directly interact with your business. Now this is one business. This is one business. This business will interact with another business due to personal due to business need. Yes or no? This is called what? B two B. Yeah, that's it. Now clear what type of applications we can design by using Java. Huh. We can design three types of applications, standalone applications, web applications, and then yeah. distributed applications. Yeah. Any questions up to this?